Hello there, welcome to the window. My name is Amy and today we are doing my December wrap up and my January 2016 TBR. The entirety of 2015 I think I read 54 books which is an accomplishment for me because I've never read that many books in a year before. In 2016 I hope to read 60 books so that's only six more books than I read last year. I think it's an achievable goal. It was one I was trying to aim for at the end of 2015 but that didn't really end up happening. So in December I only managed to read three books. I work in retail. It's Christmas, there was things going on, so that's why I didn't get through my crazy nine book TBR. Okay, so the first book I read in December was The Bing Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. Really enjoyed this book. I gave it four out of five stars. It's pretty much a collection of short stories about Magnus Bane from the Shadowhunters world, and Magnus is one of my favorite characters, so I really enjoyed um, reading about him. I really enjoyed those set in the past, especially like the 80s. I found that one really interesting. Four out of five stars. The second book I read in December, I don't have to show you because I borrowed it from the library and had to return it, and it was The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I'll insert a clip here. It's just a beautiful book inside and out. Maggie Stiefvater's writing is just so beautiful and her characters are so complex and it was just like sometimes she would describe things and I would have to stop and like savour what she had written because it was so beautiful. Needless to say I gave The Raven Boys 5 out of 5 stars. I'm hoping to do a book talk on it sometime soon. I know I keep saying that I'm going to do a book talk. It's just a matter of uh, planning it because when I do book talks if I don't script it at least to some extent I just ramble and I have no cohesive thoughts which makes it very difficult to edit but hopefully I will get to that sometime soon along with 10,000 Skies Above You they're books I really want to review because I love them and I really want to recommend them to you guys and tell you more about them and the last book that I finished in the month of December was The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski Rutkowski? I think I said it right I, this book was okay. I preferred it more towards the end. The only problem I had was with the romance. I didn't really feel it building up. I could see it happening, but I couldn't really reconcile the actions of the characters with the emotion and the reactions I was seeing. I don't know if that was just me. Um, I really enjoyed the book towards the end though. I love the suspense. And I really like what Marit Koski is doing with her characters here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to finish off the rest of this series. I gave this one 3 out of 5 stars. Let me know if it gets better in the comments because I'm really liking the position that she's got her characters in at the moment at the end of the book. And there's a lot of tension and I sort of want to see what happens. Just, just let me know. Let me know if I should continue. And the next book that I started in December was The Independence of Miss Mary Bennett by C Colleen McCulloch. McCulloch? McCulloch. And this book is set 20 years after the end of Pride and Prejudice, which really intrigued me. And I just thought I'd give it a go because I want to use this actual physical book as a DIY, so I wanted to read it before I ruined it. I'm only 70 pages in, and hopefully I will finish this in January. Okay, so if you saw my December TBR video, I wanted to read nine books in the month of December. That was never going to happen. I don't know what I was thinking. So in January, I'm just going to finish off that TBR list, hopefully um, get those books read and so I can bring them back to the library. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll leave the link to my December TBR in the description. I'll just tell you what these are. I won't tell you what they're about. The only thing that has changed from that TBR is that I've chosen my first read um, with confidence that I'm going to love it and that it will be a great start to the reading year for me and that is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by JK Rowling illustrated by Jim Kay. I got this for Christmas and it's really pretty and I started reading it yesterday on the first and hopefully I can have this be my first book of 2016 and hopefully that'll be a really good start to the year for me. And the other books are in no particular order. Zeros by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan and Deborah Bianca 
Biancotti. The next book is Enduring Love by Ian McEwan. Champion by Marie Lu, which is the last book in the Legend trilogy. Ferris by Marissa Mai, which is the book about Queen Lavana. That's sort of a prequel to the Lunar Chronicles. And the last book that I hope to read in January is The Ghosts of Heaven by Marcus Sedgwick. Like I said, I will leave the link to my December TBR in the description below just so you can see what those books are about and I will link the Goodreads page and the Book Depository page for all of these books in the description too. I've also got all of my links to my social media and everything so you should check that out. Let me know in the comments what you're planning on reading in January, what your first book of January 2016 will be and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos pretty much every week. I hope you are having a lovely day and happy reading. Bye! Oh no! Oh my light's coming down.